Hello, my name is Katarina from Garden Design Tools and today I'm going to talk about the news from SketchUp, from Trimble, um, that on SketchUp. So uh, there is quite a lot of changes uh, in the new SketchUp 2019. The main one um, uh, is the subscription uh, method that they adopt. So a lot of uh, companies are adopting uh, this, this method. Um, like Adobe, for example, okay. Uh, but the, the, the thing here is you have uh, some advantages that you all, always have the latest um, uh, software, the latest updates. And in the point of, uh, in the point of view as, of a company as well, of course, the subscription uh, method um, uh, um, in the long term makes them more money so they have more people uh, researching more people developing these apps these softwares so it's a good thing okay um, from my point of view it's a good thing if the price is not very high okay so adobe is really really pricey but they are professional softwares as well anyway uh, but for example here's ketchup um, i'm in the uh, plans and pricing um, page and for professional, the one I uh, I think for garden designers and landscape architects is the SketchUp Pro. So the one that's here, and this is uh, two hundred ninety nine dollars a year without taxes. Okay, so I did uh, a test to see, for example, in Portugal, in euros will be two hundred and seventy four plus VAT. That in here is twenty three percent, so it will be three hundred thirty seven euros. Okay, per year. Okay, so. And what is included in here? After you have uh, for personal use or higher education, but this is the, the classic version of SketchUp Pro that uh, it gets closer to, the, to what you need as a garden designer. Uh, the main difference with SketchUp uh, Studio, SketchUp Studio is really for architects. Um, the main difference is the, the performance-based design uh, Safira. Um, I'm going to uh, explore a little bit, but it's basically um, tests the, the, the models for energy uh, efficiency, uh, things like this. So I'll th I think that's more uh, for uh, architects. So I just concentrate on the ones I think it's uh, it's uh, more appropriate for garden designers, landscape architects. Okay, so you have the the this, the features that are included. So usable offline. Um, so you see the, the main difference is the performance based design that it doesn't have, but the price is a big difference. Okay, so of course if you architecture firm, uh, studio, uh, this price is it's okay to to be able to, to have this. Um, community email, phone, this is support, uh, AR, VR, mobile viewer. So they are developing a lot of these uh, visualizations for VR, for example, and this is really nice. So it's it's important as well, I think, to, 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 to really support uh, okay, like before it was from Google, so Google is always open source and it was always free uh, most of the time. So, um, but it's really important to support as well the companies, I think, if, you, if you're able to, uh, so they can continue to research and develop the apps as well. Uh, of course, the, 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 the one payment, um, uh, it, it allowed you to, to, to not have to do it every year. So if you do this with a lot of softwares and apps and things like this in the end of the year, if you really do the total, it, it might be a little bit, a little bit uh, too much for you. You have to consider all these things and you have to consider how much uh, the program does for you and for your business as well. But, um, but at the same time, like I was saying, it really it keeps you updated with all the software, all the latest tools, everything you need. So it's included the all the extensions in warehouse. That's really important as well. The other, of course, you can stay with if you already have SketchUp 2018, you can do a lot with it. But the problem is, is in a, in a few maybe months or something. The extensions, if you use extensions, they are might not work with your version because they're going to tend to work always with the latest version. OK, so that's something to consider as well. Of course, you can still use SketchUp uh, 2018 for a long time, 
But uh, if you work with a lot with extensions inside SketchUp, that's something to consider as well. And uh, I forgot to mention, you have 30 days trial, okay? So I already, um, I'm in the process of installing the program, but I wanted to show you how, what uh, what's the difference after. So you have layout, uh, custom styles, custom materials, outliner. I don't know if it's, this changed or not, but we will see. Dynamic comps, create and edit, annual subscription. So this is the one I've chosen. So when you uh, when you uh, subscribe for a trial version like I did here, this is what comes up. This is your apps. So SketchUp Pro, this is what I downloaded as well already. SketchUp Viewer, this is something you can uh, download as well. Um, and uh, for your clients as well, etc. SketchUp for web. This is a, I'm going to do a, a video after um, a different video um, with these things. OK, just showing this SketchUp web, um, but it's in the browser. So 3D Warehouse, uh, like we, we are used to. Trimble Connect, Collaboration Tools. This is work if you're working in Teams, etc. OK, Sephira, this is um, I don't know if it's, it's like this Sephira, maybe. I don't know. Uh, mobile apps. So this is really nice as well. SketchUp viewer, paid features. I'm still of the time that I actually pay 10 euros for this app in my iPad. And after they made it free. But uh, I prefer to be free anyway, it's especially with this uh, with this uh, subscription method. And, uh, and you have here for a headset as well. So I'm going to do after uh, a separate video talking about a bit SketchUp for web. Uh, but basically, is this okay? And um, you can do this. Uh, it's the basic tools I think inside uh, uh, that you have inside SketchUp, but a more basic version of of, uh, of that. Okay, so it might it might it might uh, be good for something if you want something really simple to do. Um, but I'll definitely explore in uh, in another video for you guys, okay? The 3D warehouse is the same warehouse we used to. Trimble Connect, so this is a complete, you need to do a profile, but this is, this is good if you have a team, if you work in a team to, to share. And this is what I already said about Safira. And this is the SketchUp uh, Viewer app, okay? This is in the Android and they have an iOS version as well. But um, as you can see, it's a, it's a, it's a really nice app, especially if you if you have an iPad and you want to quickly show something to your client. Okay, um, I'm not so much as a garden designer. I like to control a lot the 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 views and the viewpoints that uh, a garden and that I show to my client. So of course you can share the whole model and it can have this app or it can open in the in the in the in the browser in the SketchUp app uh, in the browser and uh, it can sh you can you can you can see around the 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 the, the garden around the space you've designed and that's okay if but I I prefer to control a little bit so uh, the views okay <laughs> so uh, I don't know if it's the advantage or not but for example for Lumion. You know, I, I talk a lot about Lumion, but in the, the Lumion, the panorama views, then the 360 views, it has actually viewpoints, and you control the viewpoints of the client, or that uh, the client has access. So that's an advantage for me. Um, but yeah, let's go and install. So after the installation process, this is what comes up. I'm gonna sign in now. So this is I'm seeing this for the first time as well. So this is. Uh, the tools we are I'm I'm happy they didn't change nothing like this so this is your uh, your license in here um, so this is the the toolbars let's see if they have something new it seems uh, it seems a lot like what we used to I prefer this one But I will definitely explore this after. And by the way, guys, I'm going to be updating the course for this update. So 
Um, it depends how much the changes, but it doesn't seem like uh, it's in, enough to change the whole course because it's the basic things that we use to inside SketchUp. Okay, but I will definitely do a new section. So I some added lessons in the end of the course, SketchUp basics for garden designers that uh, will show these uh, new changes. Okay, so this is just the first time I'm doing it. So I just wanted to explore a little bit with you, but it seemed pretty similar uh to what we used to and uh, but i'll definitely going to explore um the most important extension for me of course is lumion live sync let's check it out if it works For some reason, so I open a SketchUp 2018 Pro uh, on the right, and for some reason I'm not managing, I don't have these extensions, you see, it's like I don't have any extensions um, in here, it might, be, it might be somewhere else that I'm not seeing right now. Um, but it's definitely something I'm going to explore and check it out because I installed the Lumion and it, uh, uh, the Lumion extension and um, I can't add it to my uh, toolbars. So I'll definitely explore this and check it out and I'll check it out to see if it's something that I'm missing or it's something that a question of updating that extension if it's not working with this version something like that but um, it does look pretty similar in most of the other things I'm checking out now but this is just a very first look so I'll definitely explore more and um, I will update like I was saying I will update the course to to, to with all the new uh, items okay available let's check it out the uh, layout now so I'm opening um, layout right now It looks more or less the same. It's mainly visually. Okay, so welcome to layout. Welcome to layout, where you'll be turning your SketchUp models into anything but ordinary documents and presentations. To get started, insert a 3D model into layout. A window into your model, a viewport, is placed on the page. Many of the tools in Layout work as they do in SketchUp, so you can quickly get to drawing, resizing, adding details, making copies. It's these seemingly... So, it doesn't seem that there is a lot of um, news in this case. Oh, this changed a little bit, this window changed a little bit. Um, uh, let's see if they change a little bit the, uh, the storyboard. Mm, even the templates I think are the same. I don't know why this I'm not I can't go down. Yeah, but even the the templates are the same. So yeah, a bit of cosmetic here in the window, but um, it, it might be some things that sometimes that the changes are in terms of speed and things like this. Uh, but I'll check it out. I'll definitely check it out for the course to update and any other any other news. I will. Uh, it seems like there is a bit more settings in here. Mm. So I'm opening child style builder, and it looks exactly the same. And that's okay. Um, I I don't normally use style builder, but if you do. It doesn't seem like you have a lot of changes here. So, okay, guys, this was the, the, the main news. So, basically, it's got a lot to do with the... Uh, the subscription uh, mode and in terms of plans and pricing for SketchUp. Okay, so that's the main... Um, new um, 
that is going to affect the way you work in SketchUp. Um, I see more advantages than disadvantages, to be honest, especially considering oh, that it's such an important program in uh, oh, for all garden designers and landscape architects. OK, so like I was saying, this is price without uh, taxes, OK, without VAT. So have that in consideration. Um, but uh, and I think it's a good investment if this, they keep this price. The problem is that um, every year, they, if it depends how, how much they go up every year, um, but you can't really, nowadays it's really difficult to control uh, this, kind of, this kind of thing. But, um, but yeah, I will, I will, I will try the, the, the 30 days uh, trial um, and check it out um, um, how it is for you if, if you if you if you if you think it's worth it or not for those who have sketchup uh, 2018 uh, so far to be honest i'm not seeing a lot of uh, a, a lot of um new um new um, novelties to 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 really do that jump for a, a subscription method now because it seems like you have all a lot of this you already have access to okay so i don't see a lot of advantages if you have sketchup pro 2018 to go in and and uh, and, um, and uh, invest in this now right now um like i was saying it might be a case of if you use a lot of extensions that it might be good for you to to subscribe this later on just to make sure that you always have the best extensions and the most updated extensions um working for you okay so like i was saying i'm gonna be updating the course so if you guys uh, want to check it out please do in the links below uh in this in the video and uh, thank you guys See you in the next video.